Hey guys. Wait a second, see if anybody pops on. I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about Monday. We are on the way to Syracuse for the day, but I wanted to come on here and chat with y'all about how I am working this, um, or these releases that are coming out on Monday. Um, Facebook has been acting real wonky for me lately. I'll see a couple comments, but I won't see others. So if you're on, say hi. If you're watching the replay, um, say that. But Monday we have now a few releases. Super exciting. Um, one, be super super grateful as I always will say with this this is something that since he doesn't have to do hey Sarah hey Tara hey Katrina um, this is a definitely a perk of our business this is um, this really does help us keep you know things exciting and going and so if you're not taking advantage of implementing and sharing these LTOs, these releases that come out, then you are doing your business a disservice. Um, we have, not only is it exciting, I know it gives a lot of people anxiety, it gives me anxiety too because we don't want to miss out on things, but as long as you are preparing your customers that they know what an LTO is, they know that there's a chance that they could sell out, that you will do your best to get it for them then that's all you can do. So let's worry about what we can, tr we can control and not what we can't control. Um, for our new people, an LTO are a limited time only product. That means that once it's gone, it's gone. Some things sell out really fast. Some things we have a decent amount of product or a, a qu good quantity. So they don't sell out as fast. We never know as consultants since he doesn't tell us. That's the other exciting factor of this. They tell us when to be prepared to be on your workstation and your website to be ready to get those things. If you cannot um, guarantee that you will be on at that time, then don't tell your customers that you're, you're going to get it for them. Um, obviously, since he is what I do full time. So I, I have actually... <laughs> um, planned out now in my calendar just because we don't have releases every Monday but that's usually when our releases are. I don't schedule anything at Monday between 12 and 2 because I know or I hope that we're going to have things going on. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too if you have a tight schedule like block that time out on your Mondays. Not that you're not available but that you may be doing something. Um, so like appointments and stuff like that, I don't do because I want to be home and ready to get that stuff for my customers. Um, being able to get those things for your customers is building a relationship with them. They will start to trust you. Um, if people are interested in LTOs, I tell them, you know, let me try and get it for you. Um, one, so you don't have to worry about, they don't have to worry about the queue and all that. And two, so because I know that I will be there and available, a lot of people have said oh well, I'll just get it and they miss out because they get on at like six o'clock at night and it's already sold out um, so I just tell them like I'll do my best to get it when I'm getting all my other customers and I prep to do that um, some of the things that you should be doing is obviously sharing our, our those things that are releasing um, with the Scentsy or with the Disney stuff that's coming out, the Moana stuff, you cannot alter those images in any way. I have seen a lot of people, especially on our team or just Scentsy wide, um, that are not in compliance. There is a training on the workstation about Disney images. Pretty much anything that's licensed that we have you can only use the images that are in the workstation. You cannot make a collage with them. You cannot write over them. You cannot do anything with them. Um, you literally, you can post, like in your stories, you can post the image and you can write above and below it, but you cannot put anything over the actual image. You cannot put um, music, Disney music with those pictures. You cannot use Disney GIFs with those pictures. You cannot use any licensed material 
in um, addition to those images. So, um, just because you see another consultant doing it doesn't mean it's right. Please take time to train yourself for things in your business um, to make sure you're in compliance. Um, so share the images that are on our workstation for the Disney specific things. Do not, like I said, don't try, like, this is not the opportunity to be creative. <laughs> um, but the Life is a Garden warmer and wax collection, you can do anything with that because it's not licensed. Um, you can use those images. You can make uh, flyers. You can, you, you'll see even in the flyers groups, they don't do anything with the Disney stuff because we're not allowed to. Um, you can get creative with that. You can share things like I shared for your stories. You can um, use the transparent images of those images that are in the workstation to do fun things with. Hold it in your hand. Um, I don't know why the phone just got dark. Um, you know, and, and get creative with that totally, but do not touch the Disney images. Now, things that I'm doing to share that these are coming. Obviously, I'm sharing in my stories. I'm sharing on Instagram and Facebook stories, which are connected. Um, so that makes it easy. And I think it was Chelsea this week that talked about that. I never thought about saying that because I thought it was just something everyone did. But connect your Instagram stories to your Facebook stories. That way you use Instagram to make it and it just goes to Facebook. You don't even have to post it in two different places. Just like when I post something on Instagram on my grid, I have it connected so it also um, posts on my Facebook page. So make sure those two are connected. Um, so I'm sharing obviously on both of those stories, both of those main profiles, and then I'm also going to send an email like I always do with LTOs and I will share that. Um, but it's really, I like to keep it simple because people don't have the time to read a long email but I just say that it's coming out, that it's an LTO, and if they want it, to text me by Sunday evening. Um, the other thing you can do is text your Disney lovers. Message them independently, one-on-one, -on -one, and say, hey, I just wanna make sure that you saw that this is coming out. Um, because usually, if Disney lovers love one thing, like, they usually have the thing they really love, but if they love one thing, they love it all. Like, I have people who I'm like, what are your kids like? Anything Disney. So I know that a, few, a good handful of my people are interested in the PUA. I think that's how you say it. Buddy, because they just love Disney. Um, the other opportunity you have when talking to people about these LTOs and putting in these orders for them is to say, hey, do you need anything else with your order? Because you're already gonna be paying the $8 in shipping you might as well go ahead and get your bulb or some more wax or some more counter clean or whatever else they need. So always, 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 just like they say with fast food, they always say, do you want fries with that? You are always, that's your fry. You're asking them, do you need a refill on wax? Do you need a refill on anything um, in your cleaning line? This People are starting to clean for spring. Use that opportunity that they're making this order to go ahead, they're paying the $8 shipping um, if they're not local to you, go ahead and give them an opportunity to add something onto their order so they're getting their money's worth um, for their shipping. So, um, I think that's it. So, send an email. Go one-on-one -on -one with people. Use this opportunity. If you're not sharing these LTOs everywhere, then, like I said, you're doing your business a disservice. This is an opportunity that we are given to get active, to be paid at title, to promote, y'all. Um, I already have between those two orders or between those two releases that we have, the Disney and the Life is a Garden, almost a $500 party because I've reached out individually to like my garden people. There's people that love plants. Reach out to them. Wanted to make sure you saw this. Um, oh, the other thing is the Lavender Love Mini Warmer. Anyone that has ordered that mini warmer, reach out to them one-on-one -on -one and make sure that they have seen this full-size Herbitat. I don't know why I have issues with that word. Herbitat Warmer, that Happy Her Herbitat Warmer that's coming out because it's 
not the exact same, but it is made in the same way. They're both the lavender pressed in there. So um, just again, hey, just wanna make sure you saw that we're coming out with this limited time warmer that is very similar to the mini warmer that you purchased um, and make that connection with people. It's all about having conversations. And I personally, like every time I have any product, this is with any product, but especially with LTOs, you usually think of someone right away, whether it be a Scentsy customer or not, you usually think of someone right away when you see that. Oh, that would look good in their house. Oh, they love that kind of stuff. Reach out to them and just say, hey, this is coming out on Monday and I, it just made me think of you. That's it. You don't have to like spew how much it is or anything else. Just start that conversation with people and use the, these LTOs to do that. So I'm not seeing comments anymore just keeps saying the same people are watching so it's something's not right with the live but if y'all have any questions let me know um super excited for what's to come as always um and and transform or transition that anxiety into excitement um and just prep yourself the best you can so i will see you guys soon bye guys have a good weekend